Hello and welcome to my channel, It's a Tailored Life. My name is Taylor and in today's video, we are doing a whole house clean with me. We're gonna be tackling some laundry, cleaning the bedroom, the bathrooms, the living area. I'm getting it all done and I want you guys to come along and clean with me. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we're gonna go ahead and get started in my bedroom. It's looking like hot mess express up in here right now. So I wanna go ahead and get this area tackled. My room isn't always this crazy looking in the morning. I usually make up my bed pretty early on, but I did make up my bed this morning because I knew that I wanted to go ahead and change the linen, get those washed and cleaned. And it does kinda look crazy in the mornings actually now that I think about it because I do have a lot of pillows on my bed. So they're usually all sprawled over the floor. But before I get started, I wanna go ahead and fill up my cup of water just so I stay hydrated while I'm cleaning. I've been doing my best to like drink more water. So I've been trying to just keep my cup full, but let me know if you bought into the Stanley Cup influence. I know I definitely did. I actually do love the cup, but I was using before the Simple Modern Cups from Target. And I like those too. I actually like the design on them, but I do love that the Stanley cup holds more water and can still fit in my cup holder, but it doesn't fit that great in my cup holder, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so I'm throwing the sheets in the laundry right now, and I always just use a very basic um, laundry detergent on them, something with no scent or anything, because I have allergies and so does my son. And like sometimes if a scent is too overpowering when I go to bed at night, it kind of irritates my allergies. So I just keep it very simple. And our youngest son, Lincoln, he still is sleeping in our bed. I'm sure you all can hear him talking to me in the background. <laughs> he still sleeps in our bed. Um, we're working on that. If you have any tips or advice, let us know. My oldest son, Jackson, I feel like he got out of our bed at about two years old. And I will say with both of them, it was never my intent to have them in the bed. Like both times I was like, oh, we're not co-sleeping. And I don't know, those like sleep deprived nights always turn into a baby in the bed for me. So let me know, like, what are you guys doing to get your little ones out of the bed? Give me some advice, help me out. So recently I've started using these Swiffer dusters that have a little handle that they come with but I don't really use the handle. I just use them with my hands and they have become so handy with wiping down surfaces. So what I'll do is I'll wipe down the surface first with the Swiffer just to collect any dust. I know a lot of people do this with paper towels, but I feel like the Swiffer picks up more dust, but it makes it so much easier to like wipe things down and not have to worry about like the wet dust just moving around everywhere. Like it gets up all the dust first and then I can just go in with a wipe and get it clean. I also wanted to show you guys really quickly if you saw the cars in my hand. So right now my youngest son Lincoln, he's two years old and he is loving like little cars. So on my nightstand after a few days, I always have like a pretty big collection of little cars because every time it's time for him to go to bed, he has a little car in his hand. It's like the cutest thing. He keeps a little car in his hand and usually once he falls asleep, he'll let it go and it'll just be in my bed somewhere. So I end up collecting them on my nightstand until I put them back in his play area. And I'm just showing you guys on top of my headboard, there's so much dust. And instead of just going in with a wet wipe first, I'm just gonna use that Swiffer duster and wipe all of that dust off first. I also love that the dust is not just floating in the air. Like I feel like some dusters, move the dust around and then there's like dust floating in the air. This like keeps it contained, just like a quick wipe and it all comes off and then I just go back in and I wipe it with a disinfecting wipe.
So I was just about finished cleaning my room and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna vacuum the floor really quick and wait for my laundry, my sheets to finish drying in the dryer and my Dyson um, vacuum cleaner, the va battery died before I could even get like halfway through the room. So I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and I'll put this on the charger, move on to the bathroom while I wait for the vacuum to charge and the sheets to dry so I didn't get to finish my room so I just moved into the bathroom but if you own a Dyson let me know is it just me like I've had my Dyson for almost three years now and I don't know I feel like my battery life is getting shorter I don't know if it's getting shorter or if my expectation of it is getting greater like how far I think it can go off of one charge and I know sometimes like I'm not very patient if I'm cleaning up and the battery's dead, I'll let it charge for about 30 minutes just so that I can hurry and finish cleaning. And I feel like the battery died really fast and I know that's probably my fault because I didn't let it get a full charge, but I don't know. Let me know, like, is, do I need to switch? Like, I hope not because they are very expensive. But I see so many people switching from Dyson to like Shark and I'm like, are other people having problems with their Dyson or is it just me? And now we are moving on into the kitchen. This is after breakfast and lunch. So I just need to do like a really quick little cleanup to get it all together and just like load and unload the dishwasher so that I'm ready for the rest of the day. And there are Lincoln magnets all over the floor. So if you're new here, first let me just take a second to introduce myself. My name is Taylor. I am a wife and a stay-at-home mom. I have two boys. My oldest son is Jackson. He's seven. And I have a two-year-old. I almost said a one-year-old. He just turned two in January. A two-year-old named Lincoln. And um, I stay home with both of them. I love, well, I, Jackson actually goes to school, but Lincoln stays home with me. But I love being a stay-at-home mom. I love making YouTube videos. And I also love meeting other people on YouTube. Like, I just think it's a great space, especially for moms. Um, my first time staying home with my older son, Jackson, I had no idea about YouTube or other stay-at-home moms or anything. Like, I just kind of felt like I was in a world by myself. And when I was pregnant with my son, Lincoln, is when I kind of got more into, um, like this mom side of YouTube because prior to this I only thought there was like makeup videos on YouTube but I love it here I love being here and I love creating content um, if you like like mom videos especially cleaning motivation homemaking ideas definitely please hit that subscribe button I would love to have you here and also please like introduce yourself in the comments like I said I love to get to know everyone um, and just connecting with everyone California I forgot how you look like in rain I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me
me It's in my birthday yet yeah, Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby so lately I have been loving the pink stuff. Sorry if you noticed me being weird with my hands on the camera. I was just trying to get my lighting correct so that I could show you all that I was using the pink stuff and also that I got it at TJ Maxx for $5.99 which I thought was a really good deal because I usually get it from like Target or Walmart. Um, but I saw it there for $5.99 and this jar that I have is bigger than the smaller jar that they sell at Target and Walmart. So I was really excited to get it. Um, I bought one jar previously, a small one, just to try it out because I saw so many people raving about it and I absolutely love it. Like I emptied that first jar out so fast. But I love what this does for the stove top. With this scrub that I did, I usually use a scrub brush, but I use my scrub daddy because I need to replace my scrub brush that I usually use. I feel like my scrub brush gets it cleaner than the scrub daddy, but I do love the shine that the pink stuff gives it. Like, this is my top tier cleaning item. Like, definitely a staple, a must have. I feel like if I was going to someone's housewarming party, I would bring this as a gift. Like I that's how much I absolutely love it. are all done in the kitchen it looks so clean so nice which I love cleaning like at this time of day where it's well before dinner time so when I do come to cook dinner it's like nice and clean ready to go but let me know if you all have the Tabitha Brown collection from Target um, the towels and the oven mitt that I have hanging those are from her collection at Target. Did I say her name right? Did I say Tabitha Brown? I know her as Miss Tab from Tab Time because my boys actually love watching Tab Time. I know she went pretty viral being like vegan um, on TikTok and Instagram during COVID, but I fell in love with her from watching Tab Time with my boys. And I love this collection that just came out, her Target line, the kitchen items. I love the plates, the bowls, everything. I could not wait to get my hands on it, so I definitely ordered some the day that it came out. Another recent purchase that I made is my bedding. It's the Gap collection from the Gap Home collection from Walmart. I saw a few other YouTubers talking about Gap doing a collab with Walmart, and I just never really paid any attention to it. But after the holidays, when everyone's having like huge clearance sales, I just kind of went online looking around, seeing what Walmart had. Um, I have the Walmart app, and I kept getting notifications that they were having like really big clearance items but I was doing my best to not do any unnecessary shopping but I saw this Gap home collection line then I love this like first of all like blue is my favorite color if you can't tell from all the blue throughout the house <laughs> um, and I try not to be like a favorite color kind of person but I just love the way that blue looks in the home like blue and white I don't know but I loved it and it was only $27 and I have a king size bed so it was a $27 king bedding set from the Gap um, home collection with Walmart and they still have a lot of items. I actually bought two bed sets because I live in South Florida and it gets pretty hot here during the summer so I make sure that our bedding for the summertime is really thin like even with our AC because it gets so hot our air conditioner can go out so I just do my best to make sure that like we're doing everything we can to make inside of the house cool so we don't need to work our AC so hard 
so I get like really thin bedding but I went ahead and I got some summertime bedding that is also the Gap collection so make sure you guys are subscribed so when I pull out my like spring and summer decor you guys can see it I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason Why I should ever let you go mm. I don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up Now that my vacuum is all the way charged, I'm going to go ahead and finish off in my room so that that can be complete. Um, as you see, I'm putting away Lincoln's little tunnel. It's so funny as I move from room to room to clean up, he kind of moves from room to room with me and brings like some type of mess with him. But I don't mind when it's items like the tunnel, it's like super easy to clean up and put that away. It's just like when he brings like a little basket full of like tiny dinosaurs and cars and dumps them out wherever I am that's when I'm like Ugh, thank you <laughs> um, if you notice my camera jumping around a lot while I'm recording it's because Lincoln is probably bumping it or walking through my tripod like if there's an area that he needs to walk through and my camera is there he is always going to walk through the tripod he's never going to walk past it never around it no always gonna walk through it but this is my bedroom all clean all done it smelled amazing in here just like with the fresh sweet sheets and just me cleaning and wiping everything down I love when it's clean like this like I get the best sleep when it is clean like this even though this particular night I did not get the best sleep so I have to tell you guys a funny story um, this is today is the very next day after I did this cleaning and after I did my bedroom and I finished up in the bathroom, I went and I picked up my older son Jackson from school and I let him and Lincoln like play and hang out. And I normally would like to clean like our family room area when no one is home, but because I had gotten so much cleaning done and that was the only area I had left, I was like, oh, I'll let them play in the play area. I'll finish up. My husband was going out for the evening and I was like, I can get dinner started early. We're gonna have a great night, like an easy going night. The house is clean. I'm gonna get to relax and edit this video and it's gonna be the perfect night. And the way that mom life goes, that did not happen at all, of course, as many of you may know. With mom life, when you make plans, they usually just all fall apart. So after cleaning, um, I 
started to prepare dinner, but I was like, I'll put the boys in the bathtub and then I'll put dinner on. And by the time they're getting out, they'll eat dinner, they'll be ready for bed. Well, Lincoln came and told me that he had poop, which I've been trying to work on getting him to actually go poop in the potty when he uh, poops. But so I was like, okay, well, I'll try and change his diaper. I tried to change his diaper and he kind of was like fighting me on it. And I've learned in the past that when he does that sometimes, that means he's not done. So I was like, okay, I'll wait a little while just to make sure he's done. Well, I waited and I went back to try and change him again. And the same thing, he kind of was fighting me on it. And I was like, you know what, it's bath time. Let's just go ahead, get this off of you, get you cleaned up and in the bath. Well, I cleaned him up and I sent him into the bathroom to wait for me while I threw his dirty diaper away. And when I came into the bathroom, he was still pooping and he had pooped all over the bathroom rug. Um, and not only did he poop all over the bathroom rug, he decided he would get into the bathtub himself which he can't do, but he definitely tried. So he like kicked his leg over the side of the bathtub. There was poop all over his legs, all over his feet. Trigger warning, I'm sorry, I should have said that first. Like if you're grossed out, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but there was poop everywhere. It was all over the side of the bathtub. Jackson was already in the bathtub, so I had to quickly like make him get out, try to clean it up. Lincoln was exhausted from it being a long day, so he was just like crying and didn't want to stand still, didn't want me to wash it off of him. It was like a complete disaster. The evening just kind of like went down from there because once I did finally get the boys cleaned up, I had to quickly make dinner because I thought I would have it on and cooking while they were taking a bath, but that didn't happen, so they then had to wait for me to make their dinner, and because I was making it like right away off the stove it's really hot so I'm trying to tell Lincoln like let's let it cool down he was exhausted and tired so needless to say my evening did not go as planned but the house was clean like when I did go to bed it looked really nice but Lincoln is also I don't know if two-year-old sleep regression is a thing he's also like at a phase with that where he woke up at like midnight and was up for about an hour and a half and like the previous night before he woke up at 3 a.m. and was up for about an hour so let me know mom of toddlers I don't know with my oldest son Jackson he was not the best sleeper until he was about four or five years old so I'm not really sure what's normal but I don't know <laughs> So we are now all done. The entire house is clean. It was so nice to like see it. I love looking at the end of these videos just to see it looking all clean. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you stayed till the end with me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Please consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Bye. I just wanna wake up.